body bags were Horlies. What's up, y'all? Welcome to another week on the body bags. Your Monday host, Dubby Doubles. Wishing y'all a happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day. Hells yeah. Uh, go check out Uncle Sam. That's definitely my honorable mention for uh, 4th of July. But uh movie I got for y'all this week is a Dimension Extreme release and it's Steel Trap. Um, not a big fan of that cover first off, but <clears throat> anyways, um, uh, it's like a New Year's uh, party is taking place in a abandoned, um, I think it's just like an abandoned hotel, something like that. It's like a high rise building, is all it says on the back. But, uh, yeah, and they're just throwing party. There's like a big party there, which seems like a bad idea from the get go. But, uh, you know, like a couple and a couple, like, I think it's four total uh, VIPs, um, get text messages on their phone inviting them to, you know, a, another party taking place in the same high rise building. And they say, you know, come here and meet for the real party. So they're all intrigued and go do it. <clears throat> And little they know, they're getting into a cat and mouse, um, kind of saw-like uh, environment. Maybe even stuff like seen in the collector. Um, that being said, you know, maybe not the most original idea, but I think it uh, having the killer more active uh, just gives it a different feel overall. It gives a little originality, uh, kind of a different twist on things. Um, um, and this film's just, it's got a strange feel here and there, uh, kind of, maybe, I guess, interesting camera work, um, just, it just has some odd scenes into it, I mean, I can't put it any way other than that, um, and maybe it goes the, the way the acting, because the acting comes off a bit cheesy at times, it comes off kind of low budget, and then kind of, like, low budget, uh, over the top in a way, and then it comes off kind of serious on some actors, so I, I don't know, it kind of, the acting is solid, but it, it's, it's an inconsistent, I think, the same hand, I guess, uh, let's say that it's bad acting at any point, it's just, it doesn't, uh, <laughs> it just makes it kind of quirky, I guess, overall, um, yeah, I mean, mostly overall, though, it is a, um, pretty serious horror film though it comes down to it um the kills are pretty fun they're pretty there's some pretty solid ones uh no over the top gore i think this one could have used a splash of more gore um just that being said though like i said the the kills are solid for what they were um just interesting traps that kind of thing but I guess just seeing those kind of torture movies like Saw and The Collector, you're expecting you know a lot of gore to come off on that. But so yeah, that's the basic rundown on this one. It's a fun, interesting watch though. I, I would suggest it overall. Um, not not my favorite Dimension Extreme release by no means, but still a good solid movie. Um, you know, it's gonna be a hard time. Some of those touching inside. <laughs> I don't know if we'll see another, but there will, is another Dimension Extreme on that par, so. But yeah, if you're into kind of any kind of uh, killer games, kind of flicks, anything like that, definitely check this one out, though. It's, it's worth a watch. Um, fun little slasher, though. Uh, I'd give it 6.5 out of 10. So, hell yeah, y'all. As always, appreciate y'all watching.